Thank you for joining in and for today's video, I am going to be talking about one of my favorite washes. This one is the Turner, the Turner brand and this particular set has 24 different colors in it. Comes in this cardboard box. And then there's a nice color swatch and then the names are on all of the tubes. And a quick rundown. So we have permanent scarlet, carmine, permanent red, permanent orange, the June brilliant, yellow ochre, permanent yellow, this one's more of, well, we have a deep and then the regular, and then this one is more of a lemon, permanent green. This one is the middle green. Then you have a deeper green, and then there's your viridian, which is blue green, a nice light blue. So it's aqua blue, sky blue, cobalt, and then the ultramarine. So there's quite a few um, blues in this set and a Prussian. Um, a violet, opera rose, you have two browns, the burnt sienna and the burnt umber, and a black and a white. And instead of just showing swatches, I have actual artwork that I am going to share with you. I have been doing more gouache lately. There's a nice floral piece. I really like the way that this looks on the black paper. And you can see how bright it's the permanent green right here and then that pretty violet. A little bit of the lighter blue and the lemon yellow. And these are smaller samples. Was like a latte cup on the black paper with um, if anybody is familiar with Dear Ann Art she recently had a watercolor versus gouache challenge and I was using my set for some of that artwork and I really enjoyed this one's a mango and this one was a lot of fun with the gouache so it's um, a recipe illustration, the avocado, your bread and egg, and then your seasonings here, and then the avocado toast. But I really do enjoy the way that these colors look. I'll even show, let's see here. <clears throat> this was the watercolor. You could see the difference between like the gouache and the watercolor. That was a fun challenge. I really enjoy her work and her books. But yeah, overall, I just wanted to share some thoughts. And this is a professional gouache too, so if you are on a budget or a beginner, you can certainly pick up one of their smaller sets. Um, I do have, let's see, one to show. I just have to dig it out here. Let's see, we have, this one right here only has 12 colors. So this would be a different option. And I just have this old plastic container here, palette that I got off Amazon that I put my gouache in. I This is um just a personal opinion here. I like to use mine fresh, so I always try to clean up. I mean, there's definitely some staining with the gouache. Sometimes they get stuck, but I like to use them when they're wet 
Um, I've tried it before where you can put them in little pans and then let them dry out, but they, they just, even with the professional sets, they always crack and it never really looks the same even when you re-wet it. So I like to just use mine, obviously like you would with an acrylic where it's just wet straight out of the tube. They are the most vibrant and I always just use like a tiny bit at a time. So that way, like if you don't squeeze out a big blob, you won't be wasting. So there's some tips with that. But yeah, overall, I really do love this brand and they have a variety of sets. Like I said, if you didn't want a big set, you can certainly test out a smaller one for yourself. My particular gouache sets are from Jerry's Artorama, but you can definitely find them on Amazon and Jackson's Art and a bunch of different stores. But as far as quality, the Turner brand is really good. And that is it for today's quick review. Um, be sure to give this video a like and you can let me know if you are looking for more gouache tutorials because I plan on doing a lot more landscapes and stuff like that on this channel. So yeah, that is it for today. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.